Marhaban, hello everyone with you here is Rashid the Arab Gamer, gaming from the Arab world and today I'd like to cover a topic that may be sensitive to some viewers and it's racism. Yes, it's a very topical topic. Topical topic? Well, it's a very sensitive kind of subject that may offend some viewers but I want to dive in, I want to talk about it from the Arab Gamer's perspective. Now, recently, as you probably are aware, a new Tekken 7 character was revealed. His name was Shaheen and he is a typical Middle Eastern character. Now, I'm not talking about him being racist. Yeah, while he does offer a lot of stereotypes, I mean, you know, we'll talk about it later, but I'm talking about how recently the shift went from game developers being a bit racist uh, to gamers being extremely racist. Now, when this character was revealed, there was a lot of racism. So it's time to talk about it from that angle. Just look at him. Yeah, yeah, he does support the stereotypical Middle Eastern Arab look, and while his name and profession are debatable, it's at least a positive sign. For once, an Arabic-looking character who doesn't carry the terrorist or extremist look that many developers have used countless of times before. Think about it. Gamers, for the first time, can play as an Arab character around the world and feel normal about it. I honestly haven't felt this excited since Altair debuted in Assassin's Creed. But how did this happen to Tekken? Well, the idea to include an Arabic character in a series came about when the creator Katsuhiro Harada, I hope I pronounced that properly, visited the Middle East last year. He was so inspired by the fans and the way they loved this franchise that he ended up creating the character out of pure love. Unfortunately though, lots of gamers around the world were displeased and reacted with pure racism. The comments, as you can see, are pretty well racist, and I wish I could tell you this only happened with Shaheen. Nearly every time a video game story pops up about Dubai, video games, or anything related to something Arab, you're bound to get a chunk of racist comments about Arabs who don't have internet, ride camels all day, or some stupid shit like that. That being said, it's not all loom and gloom. I mean, I was really happy and inspired to see so many people who aren't Arab defending the idea to include an Arab-like character in an international video game that's world-renowned like Tekken. I mean, people were really happy to support the idea to include more cultures, including Arabs. And they were really happy that for once there's an Arab character in a video game who is not a terrorist or an evil kind of person. I mean, yeah, okay, sure, he's probably an assassin, so he might have some motive or whatever. But, I mean, we're getting there, so that's, that's just a good step. So why does racism keep happening? Well, at times like these, it can't be helped. Thanks to the mass news media and some video games, Arabs are still poorly represented in the modern world. It's a shame, but a reality we have to face and change together. So to all my Arab viewers and even those who aren't but are faced with racism, it's time we all say no to racist gamers. If you see someone saying something racist or offending, don't get angry. Never get angry. Remember, these are people who are more likely less educated about our cultures. So speak to them normally as hate will only lead to more hate which won't solve anything. Talk to them and hey, maybe they learn something about you and you learn something about them. So in the end, I truly believe that video games has become a culture and a language on its own. I mean, just show this video to your parents and they'll be probably wondering, what the hell is this guy talking about? I mean, it's just video games, who cares? But to us, it matters a lot because we've been playing video games since we were kids. And to me, it matters a lot to see an Arab gamer, or I mean, sorry, an Arab game character in a video game that is internationally world-renowned like Tekken. I mean, that's a really great step. And I don't want this racism to cause this weird division kind of thing. I mean, that doesn't belong in video games. It shouldn't be divided by race, culture, or religion. Everyone should experience video games and it should be a mutual feeling. And, and I really want to see that. So thank you again for watching this episode. And I just want to say to the people who used to watch my previous episodes, I'm really sorry for taking a really long time to make an Arab Gamer episode. The last one I made was probably like sometime in 2012. Um, the, the reason was that my life changed a lot. I got married, I got two jobs, and you know, my whole living room changes, a new couch, I even got a new cat, um, but I mean, basically my life changed a lot, and at the time I had to focus on some more important elements that were, you know, more important than making an Arab Gamer episode. So, you know, for now, I just want to say that I'm go I have my own channel, which is called VGS English, and the videos I will be posting on VGS English will be English, uh, that, the reason being is that I want more 
people who don't know anything about Arab gamers to learn about it. And, you know, as we all know, English is an international language that is mostly known around the world. So thank you very much. And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe with you. It was Rasha the Arab Gamer, gaming from the Arab world. Ya Aziz.